So first we'll see comparable uncontrolled price method, which is also known as CUP method. X Limited of India and Y Limited of Australia are the associated enterprises. X Limited sold goods to Y Limited for Rs 50 lakhs. And the same goods has been sold by Y Limited to Z Limited and V Limited of Australia for Rs 60 lakhs. Calculate arm's length price. Friends, here Y Limited of Australia sold goods which was supplied by X Limited to Z Limited and V Limited for Rs 60 lakhs and earned a profit of Rs 10 lakhs which is subject to the out of control of the Indian government. In this case, the Indian government will generate a less revenue that is on Rs 50 lakhs only. Now because of this transaction is between the two associated enterprises, no CIF cost was incurred. The CIF means cost of insurance and freight. Therefore, while computing the arm's length price, the CIF cost will be considered on the basis of other unrelated party export transaction. Let us have a look on calculation. Different price rupees 10 lakhs, which is 60 lakhs minus 50 lakhs. Insurance on freight cost is taken on the assumption basis rupees 3 lakhs. So answer will become 7 lakhs. So arm's length price will be 50 lakhs plus 7 lakhs which is 57 lakhs less actual revenue considered by X limited in his books rupees 50 lakhs. Therefore income will be increased by rupees 7 lakhs. Here X limited has to increase their sales in his books by rupees 7 lakhs and has also pay tax on rupees 7 lakhs. Our next method is the resale price method. X Limited of Australia hold 30% of the voting power in A Limited of India. A Limited import goods from X Limited that is 1000 units at the rate of Rs 2900 per unit and resold to B Limited at the rate of Rs 3000 per unit. Adjustments are given. Gross profit margin is 12% on sale. Freight at the rate of rupees 10 if purchased from unrelated enterprises and custom duty at the rate of rupees 25 per unit if purchased from unrelated enterprises. X Limited also offers rupees 10 per unit as a quantity discount to A Limited. <coughs> Friends, we are computing arm's length price to determine whether the revenue shown by A Limited is correct or not. Therefore, we are only concerned about, about the income of the companies who are generating revenue from India. Now we will see the computation. A sales is given 30 lakhs that is 1000 units at the rate of rupees 3000 per unit less gross profit margin that is 12% on sale becomes 3 lakh 60,000. So cost of goods sold will come around 26 lakh 40,000. Will less the co cost components which is given in the adjustment that is freight at the rate of rupees 10 per unit which is 10,000 custom at the rate of rupees 25 per unit that is 25,000 quantity discount which is offered by the X limited at the rate of rupees 10 per unit that is 10,000 so total cost will become 45,000 it will less from the 26 lakh 40,000 and actual cost of purchase shall be come 25 lakh 95,000 but actual cost incurred on the purchase and taken in the books is rupees 29 lakhs therefore income will be increment by 3 lakh 5,000. Our next method is a cost plus method. R Limited is a German company consumed more than 90% of the raw materials supplied by B Limited of India. 
during the financial year b limited sold total 1 lakh units at the rate of rupees 2000 per unit the total cost for executing the above production is rupees 17 crore 50 lakhs adjustment profit margin is given 20% on the export of the same product on the unrelated party transaction after considering all cost components calculate arms length price total sales is given 20 crores that is 1 lakh unit at the rate of rupees 2000 per unit less cost for executing the product is 17 crore 50 lakhs therefore taxable profit shown in the books by b limited is rupees 2 crore 50 lakhs Here we will compare this transaction with the unrelated enterprise transaction to compute the arms length price. Therefore, cost of production is 17 crore 50 lakhs less profit. Add profit, that is 25% on cost. In adjustment, it is given profit margin at the rate of rupees 20% on the export, that is on sales. So 20% on sale. will become 25% on the cost so 25% on the 17 crore 50 lakhs will become 4 crore 38 lakhs therefore actual sales shall be 21 crore 88 lakhs but actual goods sold at the rate of 2000 per unit so taken 20 crores therefore income will be increment by 1 Point eighty eight crore. Therefore, here B Limited has to increase their sale by one crore eighty eight lakh and has to pay the tax on the same. Friends, if you see here to determine arms length price, we have added cost plus profit. Therefore, this method is called cost plus method. our next method is profit split method z limited of singapore and c limited of usa are 27% and 32% stakeholder in r limited of india c limited of usa got a order from t limited having total consideration value of 5 million dollar on the basis of the function performed r limited incurred cost of 0.98 million dollar total profit earned in this entire transaction is 1 million dollar the distribution of the consideration amount is given 1 million z limited 1.2 million for r limited and a balance for c limited the profit margin distributed on the risk factor 20% for z limited 50% for r limited and 30% for c limited The total sales consideration is five million dollar, distributed in three associate company. That is, Z Limited one million, R Limited one point two million, and the balance two point eight million to the C Limited. We are concerned about only Indian revenue, so we will calculate arms length price of R Limited only. Let us have a look on the competition. Total cost incurred by R Limited is 0.98 million dollar. We'll add the profit to arrive on a sale that is 50%. So 50% of 1 million is 0.5 million. Therefore, sale value shall be 1.48 million dollar. Less actual sales taken in the books by R Limited is 1.2 million. Therefore, income increment will be. Point twenty-eight million. Our last method of computing arms length price is a transactional net margin method. This method is very simple to calculate arms length price. For example, Hindustan Unilever export a Dove shampoo to UK Unilever Limited. and earn 10% profit on a sale the total sale value is 1000 crore 
in the same way png india also export in the same country and earned 25% profit on the sale calculate arms length price friends on the basis of the profit margin comparison between the two fmcg company on the same transaction we can also calculate arms length price let us see the computation by applying higher profit margin to arrive at an incremental income therefore profit to be considered at the rate of 25% on sale that is 1000 crore into 25% will become 250 crores less actual profit shown in the books by hindustan and labor is 1000 crore into 10% that is 100 crore therefore income increment will be 150 crores here hindustan in labor has to increase their sale by 150 crore and pay the tax on the same thank you